hello hello beautiful family welcome into my channel miss reamy healings my name is reem um welcome into the sea serpent message so we're gonna try to do a sea serpent spread that i created um we're going to go through each of the each of the questions that i thought were very important to ask and I'm just going to take you through very quickly the downloads that I received. I think it was on January 6th or January 7th. And then I did Gemini and Pisces reading and they all connected with one another. And then I was watching a show where Spirit confirmed the Sea Serpent downloads. And also all of you, all of you were confirming that message because of things that you were receiving from this cosmic sea serpent consciousness and the downloads and the messages that other readers were also getting so it's interesting because the sea serpent's energy is so vast that it wraps itself around the world right that's the, that long dormant consciousness that it that is coming online it's a sea serpent consciousness that is alive right and i kept hearing that that message it's coming alive or it's alive it's alive and so the length that long energy is a sea serpent's body length but it's speaking to us about how vast this energy is casting itself around the world and it's so interesting because everyone right now that i feel is you know um in on on the same path or on this journey and um on the channel and and I don't know it's just like everyone is talking about the sea serpent or they've received messages about the sea serpent so i feel like every i feel like this consciousness is alive and it's wrapping itself around the collective world around humanity and we're all receiving very different and unique messages from the consciousness and we're all sharing it with one another so we can expand the message more to understand what this is for us um so not only did I see the sea serpent wrapping itself around the world in my mind's eye when I received that download, but I kept feeling the weight, the weight of the sea serpent, how large it was, how heavy it was, feeling the pressure. Um, because in the Wild Unknown Tarot, um, I felt immediately that it was displacing water. Um, even the way the card imagery was uh, in that deck, um, and so the mass and the weight are so large that it's displacing the water to reveal an energy under the sea. And this energy, I called it in the Pisces reading, a, a cup under the sea. But as I was getting more into this energy and into the flow of the messages, I feel like it's an egg. It's a seed that is alive. And the seed is so heavy. It's so heavy. And it's like on the bed and on the floor of the cosmic ocean. And I feel like there um, is some alchemical um, synergy occurring between the sea serpent cosmic consciousness and the earth matter consciousness. And I feel like there is like a bridge right now. And this energy that the sea serpent has displaced the water to reveal for us um, it's so heavy because it is material, material, materially, excuse me, materially manifesting. It has to be dense and it has to be heavy because it's moving into the earth matter consciousness so that it can come alive, so that it can be created, so that it can be manifested into our experience, into our reality, so that we can experience this new energy. And I feel like that is where we made the connection with the Gemini's reading, because we talked about this new wish is moving things apart. And so it's, the, it's this creative process that the sea serpent consciousness is doing that I feel like we're having a grasp and understanding um, because as it dis displaces water, it's also pushing and squeezing out energies, pushing them farther and farther apart, right? And that's where it pushes everything apart, but also revealing something inside, right? And so, um, oh, I just got the image of a Kinder Egg surprise. That's interesting. Um, so again, this goes back to 
Jupiter and Pisces, this wish. Okay, your wishes, you might be feeling the weight of your wishes, the weight of your achievements or the things that you want to achieve. You're feeling the weight of the goals that you want to pursue or your successes. You're feeling the weight of them because you're getting so close to them. Does that make sense? You're feeling the weight of your wish because they're coming close to fruition. And they have to, again, they have to be that dense. They have to be that heavy because earth, is intaking that energy so that it can sprout and manifest for you to experience. So also why things are moving farther and farther apart, that these are emotional energies. And um, yes, it's purging. Um, but remember, energy is smart. Okay, energy is very, very intricate. So it'll go where it is needed. Okay, energy goes where it's needed and you are emotionally intelligent so if energy needs to go let it go okay um and then on the show that i watched where spirit confirmed the message they talked about an ancient lunar goddess that danced the world into existence and then danced it through its cycles of destruction and death her creative process is represented by the ouroboros the snake eating its own tail so Let's see what's going on. I'm going to um, ask for protection first and foremost because I feel like the sea serpent consciousness, the energy is so vast and it's casting itself all around the world. Um, I feel like my channel needs to open more so than usual. Um, so I just want to ask for protection as I open the channel more to let this energy in. Okay, so this spread, we're going to look at, so this deck we're going to use to look at the overall message, okay? So what is the current energy and the overall message the Sea Serpent Cosmic Consciousness is bringing forward to us, okay? What message do you have for us? What message do you have for humanity? What is your overall energy? What is your overall energy, please? Wow, the offering is on the bottom. We got here the mother. Wow, you can't make this up. You can't make this up. And look at the stone. That's interesting. That is interesting. But let me let me show you why I'm saying this is this is truly powerful okay look at this look at the snake look at the snake wrapping itself around this new energy look at the pearl so the Ouroboros the sea serpent consci consciousness is saying I'm the mother I'm the mother or representing a mother archetype. It's interesting because I'm seeing um, how the snake moves, like the, the slithering, it looks like a dance, right? The slithering. And I'm reading this and it says, um, the ancient lunar goddess danced the world into existence and then danced it through its cycles of death and destruction. Her creative process is represented by the Ouroboros, the snake eating its own tail. Thank you for just confirming yourself. <laughs> um, so, I'm getting, cre I'm getting creation. I'm feeling a strong sense of rebirth, um, nurturing, protection through this time of death and destruction. And I think we all know what this death and destruction is. Um, and I don't want to say it on my channel, but I think we all know because it's global. And I am asking about humanity and I am asking about the vastness of the sea serpent's length and body that is casting itself around the world. 
okay and you have this imagery here okay so um i think we know what death and destruction is what that's referring to again i just don't want to say it on the channel but um there's a really so not only um the overall message is that there's a new energy okay that's 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 here this rebirth that we will look into i mean i feel like that's evident there is a rebirth energy this is the largest rebirth that i've ever felt but um we're gonna look into how we can harness this energy and how we can um how we can harness and use what is being offered because the sea serpent consciousness is offering this new energy to us so how can we use what is being offered okay because once you take that what do you do with it it's interesting because um i'm kind of seeing like someone offer someone a stone is something that i'm i'm also getting here it's like someone offering a stone, putting the stone in your hand. It's like, what do I do with the stone? This is to break down walls, to break down barriers. This is, this is, we're all going through right now. This is a destructive process. And that's what this energy is being symbolic of. I'm not in any way, shape or form telling anyone to pick up stones and start throwing them. Okay, this is metaphoric. This is symbolic. Okay, please I, I do not condone that um this is a destructive process um and it's interesting because i'm i'm also i'm also getting the message that this is the creative process of death the archetype of death it's interesting because when i did my shadow work um I felt that energy. I felt the archetype of death. Um, and I saw a reaper in my dream. And I could feel like something woke me up and something was standing behind me. And I felt that it was like a reaper. Um, I didn't feel like, I, I don't even know why I'm sharing this. But again, it's, it's that creative process of death. I wasn't dying. <gasps> Knock on wood. Not, not yet. But... Um, I just knew that there were energies inside of myself that were. And so it's like this stone is an offering, this energy. Again, a stone is heavy. A stone has weight to it. And so this is about releasing that heaviness. It's like throwing the stone away, throwing the heaviness and the weight of what is holding you down. So... Um, I feel like that is also advice like I've been screaming a lot to release the weight and to release heaviness and to release pressure um, and it really helps it's like that you know that steam that comes out and it whistles right because it has to you have to release that pressure um so like scream if you have to. There is also something in I, in Toronto, Canada where they have, I forget what it's called, but you can go into a room and just smash things to release tension. And it's so, it's this offering of this energy to release the weight because there's there's a new weight and there's a new dense energy. There's a new pressure that is coming in. And it's not anything pertaining to energies that will hold you back or energies that are or have held you back, but it's a different kind of weight. And we talked about it. It's a weight of your wishes, the weight of your goals, the weight of the things that you want to achieve, the weight that you want to experience because it's formulating, it's coming alive. It's earth matter consciousness, so it is going to be dense. It is going to be heavy, right? It's going to feel like something, okay? Does this make sense? So that is the overall message. It's an, an offering. It's a stone offering. 
to release the heaviness and to release that, but to also feel, to feel the weight of your wishes that are manifesting, okay? I also want to say, it's interesting because I wanted to ask for protection. <laughs> Remember that? I, I said, I'm opening the channel too big. I need to ask, I need to ask for protection. You have here the mother, which is a protective energy, also nurturing, okay? So you are protected and you are being nurtured by this consciousness at this time. All right. Um, so let's get into the spread, okay? So um, I'm going to just shuffle these real quick. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see how I'm going to... I'm just going to lay it out like a circle, okay? And then we're going to have one card in the middle that represents the seed, okay? The wish. This dense energy that is alchemically in synergy with the sea serpent consciousness. Okay, so... Um, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like, what? Does something just come in? I don't know. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. Okay, the very first card, I'm going to take it from the top, as you can see here. Okay, uh, did I cut the deck? I don't remember. I don't know. I'm just going to take it like this. So our very first question is going to be, what is the energy being destroyed? Okay, it's going to be this card right here. Um, okay, I guess we can flip it. Ah, the tarantula. The energy being destroyed. Wow, that's like, that's anger. <laughs> that's really fiery. The energy being destroyed is anger, um, resentment. Um, it's emotions, okay? Um, mm, interesting. Oh, I'm getting so many downloads from that. Okay, hold on a second. Things that you can't see because a tarantula, like, you can't really see it. I mean, some tarantulas are really big, but some are like kind of small. Um, so energies, energies that are being destroyed are things that you can't see or have been like lurking in the shadows because a tarantula like wants to hide in the dark. Um, or only moves in the shadows or moves in the dark is something that I'm getting here. Anyways, okay, hold on. Um, what's the message and the teaching behind the energy that is being destroyed is the Six of Cups. Okay, that's interesting. How will this help us move forward? The Tiger. What is our current collective energy? You have here the Daughter of Swords. What's the collective hopes and fears you have your strength oh. what is the new energy coming in that is being offered to us and you did have the offering at the bottom of the archetype deck oh you have here the sun oh that is rejuvenation that's rebirth um that's a life force energy and how do we harness what is being offered to us to help us move forward you have here the lamb and then the next journey, the beginning, oh, the hummingbird, that's gorgeous. And then the seed, the seed, oh, the seven of wands as the seed. Okay, that's interesting. That's really, really beautiful. I kind of want to like show you guys. That's how I have the spread there, okay? All right, so that's a seed serpent spread. All right, so let's walk through it. Okay, so the energy that is being destroyed and what's the message, the teacher behind the energy being released and how will this help us move forward? Okay, I'm going to talk about these three energies together. Okay, because they all go together. So you have here the tarantula that's being destroyed. This is the message and the teaching behind the tarantula. And this is how it'll help us move forward. So I feel like there's a lot of resentment, a lot of energies of resent, 
the feeling of resent feeling resentful the feeling of anger is being released is being destroyed i feel like it's um it's an emotional release is what this feels like especially here with the tarantula and the six of cups the teaching behind it is to help us see what our anger has done to us um what our resenting nature has done to us it's teaching us how we have been led astray from our emotions instead of going towards our emotions we have led we've actually been led astray for from our emotions instead of going towards them and utilizing them and harnessing them in an intelligent manner and to heighten our intuition because they're showing me that they're showing me uh, the ace of cups but they're showing me the cup as intuition and we pour emotions onto the cup fueling the cup because that is exactly what fuels our intuitive force is the our emotional body and so the very thing that is being released is anger resentment impulsiveness too that energy to be really impulsive or to it's it's like to act out because you're angry or to do something in spite of or to hurt someone because they hurt you and that really um you know hurts the intuition it clouds the intuition it also clouds your judgment so there's a lot of things that are being what's being let go and destroyed is pain i'm feeling specifically anger and the teaching behind it is like how you can use your emotions for better like move towards your emotions don't move away from your emotions is the energy is the teaching here because when you move when you move towards your emotions you're moving towards your intuition that's that's what's being destroyed and that's the teaching in that that's interesting because i've been very angry lately <laughs> i've been angry i've been angry yeah i look at the pain in my life i look at the hurt in my life even the recent hurts and the recent pain and initially it's like the initial thought the like when when you initially look and you see a tarantula or you see something that doesn't necessarily uh you know it's like when you see a cockroach or when you see kind of something disgusting it, it irks uh, different emotions inside of you it's that kind of energy it's like when you initially look at something it's like don't act right away so it's like a cleanup of that that field. It's, it's a cleanup. That's what's being destroyed. But when I say destroyed, look at destruction and death as a creative process. Okay, it's an alchemical process. And that's exactly what the teaching is here. Okay, and this is the creative process. This is a teaching. Because... It's being transmuted and it's fueling a depth of yourself that is connected to your intuition. This is a deeper level of, of intuition that the sea serpent consciousness is teaching us. It's a deeper level of intuition. Okay? So the current energy of the collective and what's the collective hopes and fears you have here the daughter of swords and strength. So our current energy is um, it's interesting because it's it's bringing me to that Gemini reading where I was talking about paint, um, a drip painting specifically, and this was this was the the pen that we were holding, um, and there was actually the blank card from the fairy oracle that came out. So it's almost like um, it's we're in this energy right now where we are like we have a pen in our hand and we're getting ready to write, but we're not sure what to write or what to wish for or what to adjust 
or what to say or what to feel or how to feel because there's so much going on and in it's almost some of us are even being bombarded with information is something that i'm getting here because i'm seeing this daughter of swords as kind of like holding a lot of information having a lot of spirit around around um, him or her and um, kind of like pausing, kind of waiting, kind of in this energy of a standstill um, because there's a lot of information, there's a lot of messages, there's a lot of downloads, there's a lot of emotions, there's a lot of things being broken, a lot of things um, that we do know will come together, but we have a fear of if we will per persevere this or not. So our hope is that we are courageous, but we also fear that we will not be courageous. We hope that we will write down and fulfill our wishes and our dreams and our goals, but we also fear that we will not. We fear that we won't um, make our wishes come true. We, we fear that, but that's what we are courageous and we're hopeful of. And so it's, it, that's, that's, this, that's this energy here. That's this energy. I want to say like advice, you know, if you're in this energy and there's so much, there's so much being just like you're overwhelmed with information, you're overwhelmed with like what course is next for you or what is next for you is if you feel like you need to just stand still, be still. If you feel like you need to pause, pause. If you feel like you need to exit, exit the situation, exit, um, you know, energies. If you feel like you need to exit relationships or whatever it is, okay, like take, 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 like you have what you need, okay, like you, you're holding it. You have what you need, you're holding it, okay? You have courage. It's inside of you. You have that strength to persevere. It's inside of you. And I understand how that is also a fear. I get it. I really, really do. All right. So that's where we are. I resonate with that too. I really do. Because there's so many things that I want to get started. There's so many things and wishes and dreams and goals that I have. And I fear that I won't fulfill them. I fear that I'm not courageous enough. Mm. okay okay um the new energy coming in what is being offered to us is the sun just like that stone right just like that heaviness where you just like throw the heaviness away and you throw all those really dense energies and dense emotionalities and everything that's heavy and being weighted on you you throw it away right that's what the sun is also offering. The sun is also destruction and death, but the sun is also what? Rebirth, revitalization, renewal. It's this burnishing energy, just like the stone, just like the stone. The stone can be used in, in, in different ways, right? We can build with stones, we can build structures with stones, but we can also throw a stone and, and tear it down. And that's what the sun is represented here. So you, it's like you choose to, you choose what you want to do with the sun. But most importantly, how do you need the sun? How do you need the sun today? What do you need the sun to do for you? That is what is being offered to you. What is being offered to you is what you need. Do you need a stone to tear something down? Or do you need the stone, the wish, to build? The weight of the wish. Do you need that stone to build? Or do you need the stone to tear it down? To tear something down. So how do you need the sun? Do you need the sun to burnish an energy away? Or do you need the sun to renew an emotion, to renew an energy, to renew your health? 
Are you going through something that is impeding your health? Anxiety, illness, disease. How do you need this life force frequency? Because that's what the lamb is representing. The lamb is looking at the sun, right? How do we use this life force? How do we use the sun? We use the sun to direct us, to navigate us, right? When we have no compass or no map. We use the sun to nourish the seeds that we have planted in the soil. We use the sun to renew our bodies. We stand outside, we feel the sun on our face. We need that vitamin D, we need the nourishment. But we can also use the sun to destroy things to burn things away, set fire. It's interesting because it's like, how do I actually use the sun? How do I use it? Well, it's a resource that is always accessible to you. And I feel like people forget that because people look at the sun or the moon and it's like the farthest thing away from us, right? But it's really not. It may physically look far away from us, but with this lamb and the sun here, it's with you at all times. It's a, a resource that is readily accessible. The sun is also this energy of heaven. Heaven helps those who help themselves. Heaven and your angels and your guides will only help you when you ask. When you ask and what place are you coming from are you asking out of pure intention or are you asking only to gain or are you are you only doing things for rewards think about why you need the things that you need and how do you need the sun at this time because the sun this life force is being offered offered to us excuse me that's beautiful that's really be that's really nice oh, thank you thank you for that message this is also renewal renewal is being offered to us okay rebirth and this is just like so abundantly beautiful here with the hummingbird the next journey the hummingbird is the next journey whenever i think of the hummingbird i think of elixir like we're turning to that natural elixir we're turning to the nectar to the sweet things in life what just makes you happy what brings you joy but also the next journey is going to be because the hummingbird is really fast right but from the hummingbirds like we see the hummingbird as moving really quickly but actually this is actually a scientific fact of the hummingbird through the hummingbird's vision through the hummingbird's eyes the hummingbird sees the world in slow motion Your next journey is going to be one where you will be so present is something that I'm getting here with the hummingbird. So present that you will not miss a thing. And a lot of things will be so clear to you. You'll see the small details right because the hummingbird sees life in slow motion so you'll see the small details you won't miss anything that's the next path that's the next journey that's the beginning i'm also getting like appreciation and a lot of gratefulness here with the hummingbird a lot of a lot of that energy is coming through 
This is more of a feeling, but it's also return of that life, return of the life force, return of this beauty as well into your surroundings, into your environment, your wishes, your dreams are evident and you can see them. Some of you guys, your wishes are, are already manifested, you just haven't seen them. Wow. Remember that reading I did for Virgo? God hides what you want to give you what you need. Some of you, you weren't looking in the right place. Or you were focused on something that wasn't for you. But what you needed was like right under your nose. So in your beginning, in this new energy, this next journey is talking about having what you need, but also being grateful for what you have. And also recognizing what you need and having everything that you need around you and readily available and accessible and also resourceful to you. That's also what the hummingbird is talking about, being resourceful with the things around you and the resources that are always accessible to you. Wow. And then the seed. The seed is the seven of wands. And I ask, what do we become? What do we become? The seven of wands. And in this depiction, it's like this one. It looks like my candle. <laughs> um, this one flame, this one seed is just completely come alive. And all of these other wands, all of these en other energies are just pushed to the side. Just like the sea serpent. And now I, I got to get the sea serpent. Hold on a second. Because I'm going to show you how your creative process is mimicking this consciousness. Mirroring this consciousness. Excuse me. Let me use mirroring instead of mimicking. Okay. So just like the weight of the cosmic sea serpent displacing the water revealing this new energy okay and then moving things farther and farther and farther apart right that we already talked about you are mirroring the same energy you are becoming infused with new consciousness do you understand what i'm saying you're being infused with this new consciousness so your energy, your fire, your flame is so bright, it's so heavy, it's so material, it's filled with this life force frequency that is being offered to you that you have now harnessed, that you are carrying on your next journey with you. Your energy is moving things apart just like how the sea serpent has displaced the water and moved things apart you're making room you're making room for the things that you need so you are becoming more authentic right all of these wands are a different color than this one wand so there's like that polarity but also that like differences is something that i'm noticing this aspect of yourself is coming forward so i'm reading this as you're becoming more of who you are and that is a force 
and that is driving things apart and moving things apart to make room. Some of you, your wish is carried inside of your body, inside of your energy. How do I want to further expand on that? Because it's like you're carrying the thing that you want. You're carrying like you're carrying the thing that you need to experience, the things that you need to fulfill, the goals, right? Because when you think about, oh, I wish for this, or I need to do this, or I want this, that's an energy inside of you. And it's growing stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. And as it does that, it moves things apart so that you can fulfill them. So you're going to be experiencing very synchronistic events, things falling into place. Do you see what I'm saying? You're creating a new environment just like the sea serpent consciousness is all around the world. You're creating a new environment for yourself because of who you have become. And just like the sea serpent consciousness destroys, destructs, death, as do you. You have that archetype energy inside of you. Hell, I am very destructive at times. <laughs> when I tap into that chaotic energy, I destroy. But I also have the capability to renew. And I feel like that is what we are understanding within ourselves, that we have this mirrored effect. That we are destructive, that we carry the archetype of death, but we also carry the energy and the archetype of rebirth, life, renewal, You create the space. You create the space. So then in turn, you're also the mother archetype energy. And you're also the stone. And you're also the offering. Do you see what I mean? I hope this makes sense. I hope that I explained it the way that this message needed to come out. Um, this is what I have. <laughs> I love you guys. I'm glad I did this today. Um, I'm going to do the next download that I received in a few days. Um, the shadow sheet the shadow shows details so that's another one that's going to be incoming for you guys um and you guys are just so amazing and so intelligent the things that you have commented on that post just blew my mind i feel like i don't even need to channel it we'll see how that reading unfolds and how that message wants to be relayed um, but I'm also going to do a reading with Russell tomorrow on our shared dreams download that him and I both received. Um, so I love you guys. I hope this helps. Um, have a great weekend.